Hello friends, family and other creatures of the sea and welcome to a best of five between two fantastic players. In the top right spawning as our red Zerg player playing for no team currently, it is Bly. In the bottom left playing for team Liquid, we have a laser. Zerg versus Zerg best of five shenanigans. Two very different players as uh, Bly... Ooh, <laughs> what are we doing over here? Mr. Bly, what is that? That is a really quick Evo Chamber. That is an Evo Chamber that is going to rush into a quick plus one melee, most likely. Well, we followed up with a bit of a Link Flood. So, an aggressive opener coming out of Bly. Nothing that we haven't seen before, honestly, as yes, Bly is known to be a rather aggressive player. He lays there on the other end, open up with a pool first, and is now opting for a bit of a speed rush. Um, Getting that metabolic boost very rapidly. Wants to go across the map with a decent chunk of links over here. These overlords are moving back in position. We'll still get all the scouting information. They're covering every single path right now. So links can't pass by without being spotted. Two queens will be out. There's no third hatch on the way quite yet for Bly. 12 more links on the way for Elazer. Elazer actually the first one to put on the aggression. Bly opting for a spine crawler here. A blind spine. I guess he did see the delayed spawning pool. Now sees a bunch of links coming out. We have a full wall coming here with uh, triple evo chambers. Oh, he laser is trying to block that with the speed. Two links are over here. Can it be blocked? Can it be blocked? No. Uh, the ramp is going to be blocked, but uh, he laser is not capable of stopping the evos from going up. Um, there is two queens here that will allow the spine to finish, this wall will. And the queens can then move to the ramp. And I think that Bly might just be fine. He's gonna finish his Evo chambers as well. I feel like the last one can be cancelled, if I'm not mistaken. No, it's not gonna do it. He says, hey, I wanna be safe. As a result, we'll be down six workers. So definitely worthwhile here for Elazer. Follows it up with a really quick lair. And most likely will... Go either into two base roach from here or something along the lines of a spire. In the case of a spire, I would expect extra gases being added in. Honestly, two base roach, I also would expect extra, extra gases being taken at this point. So we only see two more gases. No roach warn, no evo chamber quite yet. Curious to see what this is going to be. At the same time, melee attacks level one is finishing up here for Bly, who has saved up a decent chunk of his own links in his main base. And is getting his own lair as well over here. Starts taking out his Evo Chamber. And perhaps with one more big wave of links after this Overlord finishes up. Wants to uh, cross the map and see if he can venture into the unknown. No, eight drones instead. Okay. Elazer knows that he can't win this fight. Must have clicked the links to see that the upgrades are superior here for Bly. As this is uh, trending towards a Mura versus Mura in my mind. Elazer with a significantly quicker spire, but down an upgrade. Links here are uh, actually having a pretty decent time, despite there being two queens to help out here for Elazer. Look at those links, these upgrades are freaking huge. Lair's going to be spotted, and Forgas has also been spotted. Despite the spire not being physically seen by these links yet, I think Bly already knew what was kicking off over here. Yeah, Bly definitely knows what's kicking off. Goes for a Nidus network as a response. This was going to be Muras, but now Bly says, no, actually, if I get to scout this and I have better links than you do, can't I just build a, a, a bunch of queens here and pretty much take it from here? Like, what, what is stopping me? He has a full wall at home already as well, so potential run by into the natural can't really happen like the spine can finish off this wall roaches will be added in as well and now Bly is looking to take map control with these links to throw down his nidus has 18 links with plus one against 28 links with zero zero now that's still going to be a good fight i think for the for the for the 28 links despite them being down an upgrade more queens being added in Brings the total up to five, and the first six muras will now pop out this is a very very scary moment for Bly. Because this is the moment where the Nidus needs to go down. And if this Nidus gets spotted and gets taken out, the Mutas will be out, Overlords will start falling, and I think Bly will be in a world of trouble. But seems like the Nidus will come up. It will pop out over here. Yep, there we go. One, two, three, four, five queens. Two transfusers on, uh, well, two of the queens and one transfuse on two of the queens as well. 
And we add all of that up and we get to six. I think <laughs> six fresh is available, if I'm not mistaken. Wouldn't mind seeing a drone pop in over here. Uh, maybe get a spore aggressively. Are there spores at home? Not quite yet. Should probably be added at some point. Because if Elaser decides to go across the map and starts fighting these drones, that could be uh, that could be trouble. Well, I should know that these mutas are trouble when they fly in. Without 1-1, one, one, or without any upgrades really on these links, I don't think they can break the wall. Maybe if you have plus 1, like this spine could fall quickly. I don't quite think that's the case now. Nidus Network might just get taken out. Has one muta fallen yet? Two mutas have fallen already. Yes, the queens are still, uh, by and large, alive. Spores indeed have gone up at home. I'd love to see a spore just being constructed here. Kind of as a as a backup. Usually the, way, usually the way these scenarios end up going is that the aggressive Zerg player will just get like a spore wall with a bunch of queens as well. Ooh, this is a good move out of the laser. Gonna take out one Nidus. Gonna take out a second Nidus. Yep, two Niduses going down. Nidus gets rebuilt over here. What I was gonna say is the way that these situations often end up is with like kind of like a spore wall, queens, and then a bunch of Ravagers trying to break the spines that the Muta player tends to build, right? Mutas cost a lot of gas, and then all the minerals get invested either into links or into spines. And then once your muta count is big enough, you can either decide to go across the map to kind of go for a base trade, or try and break your opponent's contain. It seems like uh, there's not much of a contain over here, though. And honestly, this is still only seven queens total, and there's only five queens over here. Now a spore sets, sets up shop. I'm not quite sure what these banes are going to do. I guess they will help against any... Uh, again, potential links. Uh-oh. Here come some queens back home. Things are going to connect as uh, one Muta will fall. I think a new wall will need to be constructed here. And indeed, that is going to be the case. 16 Muras against five queens. Multiple transfusions available. One Spore is here as well. Ravagers could be morphed in. The gas is there. It is available. Infestation pit as well popping out right now. Don't forget this base is not mining. So mining is completely even. It's all about unit composition. We see an attempted snipe here. An assassination attempt coming out of the laser. But he failed. The gun was jammed. Shot himself in the foot there. I'm not sure if he lost... Uh, did not lose on Muta. I don't think so. Does take out the Nidus here. I mean, I have 1-1 one, one upgrades on the way for Bly. I mean... Does have the the Evo wall at home, of course. Once again, will not lose a queen. I think these spores need to be spread out a bit more. I'd love to see an Overlord or Overseer here for help. High ground vision. Being capable of using Ravagers to snipe uh, these spines would be huge. We now have six investors on the way. So uh, a slightly different approach here. I almost was thinking, what about a hive and just going into like two vipers? You can abduct them into your spores or use Parasitic Bomb. Both are obviously perfect. Roaches now are being split off. I do think that without the cover of the spores, this army cannot quite advance anymore. It can't move forward. Plus two on the way for the Muras. So we have a Roach Warren as well. More spines coming in. Fort base being taken quite far away. It's going to be difficult to properly saturate that though. I mean, you don't have that many larvae. E-Laser is trying, but it's going to take a while for him to saturate that. It really is. Plus one uh, armor, as well as the range attack, is going to finish up. His play isn't doing much of anything. I think he's fine with the current situation. He's okay with this. He says, hey, even if you're going to be outmining me a little bit, I'm going to get better units. Like, Miras don't actually scale that well into a later game once, well, a bunch of investors is out. Really doesn't. You know, are looking for damage here. Overlord gets taken out. Third base here will get blasted. The fourth base is now up and running, though. So e laser started his own road production. Are we going to go into Lurker from here? Or what are the Hydras for? That's what I am wondering. I'd love to see just one Infester at home, just for added on defense. Oh, going to go for a bust. Microbial Shroud gets used in case the Mutas attack. But these spines are dealing so much damage. This is not the play here, Bly. This is not it. Absolutely not. And his roach count is actually fairly low at this point. Only 13 roaches. Nothing else. I mean, six infestors as well. That is nice. We now have eight ravagers being morphed. I think eventually Elazer might overtake Bly's roach count. Like, Bly is losing his mining in his main base. 
is natural. Uh, some of these mineral patches are going to run out. And this third base continues to mine. We see a significant difference at this point of four or 500 minerals a minute. In roaches, I think that would be, what, like six or seven or so? That is pretty big. Like, the longer this game goes, the worse it's going to get for Bly. And he should know that as well. Now, there is a scenario in which both players max out, and then it might be okay for Bly, as he does have a pretty powerful army. He does have superior upgrades. So he can't tech into this, though. It's just not possible. I don't think it is. Like, not up this ramp. There's enough Ravagers here for Elaser right now that he can just hold this ramp. Oh, Fungals are connecting. But so are the Biles on top of uh, Bly's army here, as Elaser will hold for now if <laughs> Microbial Shroud gets cast into the dead space. I think that uh, should have been a Fungal. A little bit of a misclick there coming out of Bly. Burrows being researched. Do we have Tunneling Claws? No, we don't. Not quite sure what it's for. Perhaps the Infestors trying to catch these Mutas. But at this point, the... Uh, the Roach count is also higher here for Elaser than it is for Bly. Still down in upgrades, though, is uh, is the Polish Zerg. But I, I do believe that the game is pretty much over in favor of our blue player here. He's up 60, 70 supply. Actually, 70 supply. 69 supply, to be exact. <laughs> Cloud Reconstitution finishes up for Elaser, and we have uh, Tunneling Claws on the way. First Evo coming out as well as he approaches uh, Max. Fungal does connect with some of these Ravagers. 89 army supply against 150. Mutas are gonna get caught. Another Fungal hits. Biles, Biles. Ooh, not quite going to connect, but uh, yeah, this position has now been completely busted. And uh, Elaser feels confident enough to jump on top of this army. Muta's coming in with a flank. We'll try to target down some of these investors. And this is going to be it for game number one. Light tries so hard and got so far. But in the end, Elaser managed to stabilize, get a fourth base up, expand towards the right side. Kind of like how, uh, what was it called? The, the, the Deep Mind bot. The, good, I can't even recall the name of it. The Google bot that used to play Star Mind or something. Alpha Zero? Alpha Star? Alpha Star, there we go. Uh, <laughs> the way that Alpha Star would play against Cannon Rush, you know, just expanding further and further to the side. Which wasn't quite efficient, but seems to work against the against anti-muta contains here for you laser, so that is nice. Bly is still yeah, he's absolutely coping at this point. I mean he's down in, in absolutely every single metric that exists. Less roaches. I guess he has investors against no investors. It's the one thing he's adding. And he has Clio, uh, sorry, tunneling claws as well. So he can burrow with his roaches, which would be nice. But he's losing at two fronts at the same time right now. And that means he will be forced to tap out. As he's down 100 supply. Lie, it is time to tap out. It still is time to tap out. Even if you kill every single Muta, it still will be time to tap out. I think he laser is aware of this as well. And he kind of stopped playing the game, honestly. I mean, simultaneously, yeah, moving across the map with these roaches. Like, he's so far ahead. Um, he's just saturating these outside bases. Has enough units for defense here at the third. Which one used to be the fourth, but now the third fort is over here, of course. I am not quite sure what we're watching. I... Like, this, is, this doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. But uh, I, I guess this is it. <laughs> and maybe he's waiting for a laser to get like a cardiac arrest or something. I'm not entirely sure. Maybe he thinks that if he... Look at 1400 APM. What is he clicking? He had 1700 APM there for a second. What was that? Maybe he thought that if he clicks really fast that the game might, you know, crash and the replay doesn't get saved. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> this makes no sense to me. <laughs> Every 1700 APM there. I have no clue what he's clicking this much, but... I... That's just ridiculous. Like, this game is really over, Bly. It's okay to leave. You don't... You don't have to wait for your opponent to kill every single building. There's some players that do do this, right? They just stay in till the very last point. Like, even professional players. Uh, Bly is, is, is kind of known for that. There's a, a Polish pro called Gerald that also likes to stay in for a very long time and just, uh, you know, tries his best. You know, you gotta admire the grit, but at this point, you're down 150 supply and feel like you're wasting more of your own time than anything else. All right, GG. Your laser wins game number one. I think that definitely counts as an exciting game number one, but... Uh, it, it, it just kind of sizzles out. It fizzles out. It just, 
it, it's just not great if someone stays in for that long, you know? It, it, it kills the vibes a little bit, in my mind. Apply is such an attractive player. He's such a quick one. I love watching him play. There's so many fun things. Um, really goes for it, you know? It's, right now, we're seeing a 12 pool. Wouldn't completely surprise me if this was, is with a drone pool as well. He is known for doing that, and we see him kind of select all of his drones, which um, does tend to support my hypothesis. He's really fun watching Bly games, but yeah, if, if he stays in for five extra minutes, just not a huge fan of that. Oh, yeah, I, I think I definitely think his plan is to, to move across the map. He pulled him a little bit early there, but here we go. See how Elaser is going to deal with this first person view of Elaser as the man is pressing the buttons at very high speed. So you open up with the worst possible build order. This is the hatch first into gas into pool. Well, last game he played that pool first this time that's not the case he does not quite spot the move out either no now he does there we go drones actually uh, <laughs> hugging the wall let's see how he will deal with it we're gonna see an evo wall this will win him about four to five seconds which should be good oh he's going for uh, it is evo wall. can he fool wall this with a hatch as well another evo that, 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 uh, this is like tower defense over here. Look at that. Freaking tower even, uh, tower defense uh, Elaser over here. It's gonna cancel, I mean, every single. Sure, yeah. <laughs> I'm not quite sure why he canceled them one by one. Like, maybe for the reinforcements? You wanna pretend like you're still doing something useful? Oh, Lace Pop out on a very nice timing. And here comes the drone pool. I think this looks good for Elaser. It honestly does. I don't quite think these spines are going to finish in time. Elaser uh, with a banger of a hole here. Yeah, this is this was clean. This was clean, wasn't it? Oh my god, now these two spines are gonna finish up as well. Yes, there is no natural, but that's not going to matter. Look, this was this was honestly the cleanest defense I've seen in my entire life. He built freaking five Evo chambers. Um That was that was legitimately beautiful. That was legit. Yeah, GG. That's it. Six supply and Bly is out. 2-0 in favor of Elaser. <laughs> All right, game number three. Supply uh, decides time for. I think this was another 12 pool, right? Yeah, this was another 12 pool. It's time for another 12 pool here for Bly. He just can't get enough. Absolutely can't get enough over here. I. Uh, this is a slightly larger map. I'm, I'm not so sure if it would be brilliant to go for a similar setup here once again. And especially with how convincing that hold was out of Elaser. Like, the Evo Chambers really make a difference. It, it looked a bit funny, right? You, you're building five, and you really are kind of playing tower defense. But it, it gives you so, so much time. And it delays your opponent's spine crawlers by, like, five, six, seven seconds, which is huge, because it means your spine crawlers are going to be up quicker than your opponent's. So... All you need to do is defend. Usually you need to attack these spine crawlers, otherwise you lose. But now as long as you don't die, you're completely fine. So yeah, a very different type of setup. It's the same exact build. You can't be serious. Elaser, um, happy with last game's hold. Ooh. It's gonna have less time to respond though this time as uh, these bad boys are moving around. Overlord stays at home temporarily. <laughs> See what we're doing here, Bly. Do they go through the left side? I think they do. Nope, they go back through the middle. These links also being uh, rallied uh, around the Overlord. First person of Elaser once again. I mean, that's really the only thing that matters here right now. Sees him. Uh-oh, build a 21st worker. Build a 21st worker. That ain't good. That ain't good. That ain't good. That ain't good. Cancel that hatchery right away, buddy. Here we go. Another Evo Chamber. Can we get spines? Can we get spines up defensively? Um, I think we can. Yep, there we go. Number one. Number two should go down immediately as well. Very solid response here out of Elaser. Had so little time to mentally prepare for this as well. But I guess if you're playing against Bly, you should always be mentally prepared. Three spines going up here for Bly. And that means that Elaser wants to add his own third as well. First two links are out. Kind of getting caught off guard here, but are being microed away. Took a little bit of damage for no real reason. One spine does end up getting cancelled. And I think we're going to go into a game in which three spines finish for Bly. Bly does not feel the need to continue here uh, 
attacking into this because there's less spines defensively for Elaser. This was an okay trade for Bly altogether. Killed four workers, lost zero. Now two spines are moving forward. They will burrow quicker than his opponent. And he sets up in his opponent's mineral line. Here we go. Full drone pool as well coming out right now. Queen will get targeted down. No, it won't. Spines being destroyed here, I think. As Bly pulls back, this spine will go down. That is a fact. Uh, this one can be microed back. Bly, hello. Micro back the spy? No. Okay. Does not micro it back. Uncharacteristic mistake here. Is there enough cash to take another base? There is not currently. As yo. Oh, this is going for a base trade. He has more links in production. But I think Bly will hold. There are a lot of drones though. That's 14 drones. One four. That's a high number. That really is. More and more links being produced. It's going to be 8 links. No, 10 links against 4. But there's a bunch of drones with this as well. And out of those 4 links, 2 aren't even in, in the fight, most likely. Okay, Bly is absolutely fine here in this case. Ooh, Spinecrawler going up. But this is fine. Nah, this is okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bly is going to hold here with the relative ease. Can just A move these drones down. I do think so. 2 links are not even uh, engaging in this fight. Eight workers go down. Elaser loses to the same build that he just held. Let's apply a little bit of a variation. More spines this time around. Played it out differently and managed to win game number three within four minutes and ten seconds. And that brings us to game number four. The question that I have is will Elaser have the cojones, the, the balls, the nuts to... Uh, to go for head first again i was looking for the german word for uh for cojones or balls but i, I can't quite remember it the ballen something like that perhaps germans usually just use dutch word and then they ruin the pronunciation that's what german is in a nutshell honestly it's going to be wait wait wait, wait a second this was a 15 hatch no wait what this looked weird. I think he did an extractor trick or something. No, okay. Well, some, some type of weird extractor trick. I don't know what Bly was up to, but it looked funky. I'm, I'm I'm not quite sure what he did, though. I'm not quite sure what he did. Pool goes down faster here for the opponent. Is Bly playing 3 hatch before pool? No. Oh, he just forgot his spawning pool. What? All right. Well, this is a weird opener. Forgot his spawning pool, for, forgot his gas for like legit 10 seconds or so. Um, it's quite inefficient because now you're going to be oversaturating your minerals or your drone just have to... Yeah, <laughs> they're just going to be waiting. <laughs> knock, knock, knocking on extractor's door. And it's not open yet. Sometimes yeah, we actually had this with the library when I was in... Uh, when I lived in Rotterdam. It's a pretty big library there. And before the library would open... There would legit be just 25 people standing outside, like 30 minutes ahead of time. This place was massive, though, so I'm not quite sure what they were waiting for. Like, they really wanted to return some books. Like, what? It's also not like the study. Like, I think there were some studying places, like some studying spots, but there were so many. I guess they have a favorite one that they don't want to give up. There also was a massive chess board there. I remember people always playing chess. Freaking hated it. I once played chess there. People would constantly be whispering. Sometimes you could hear them. It was like a bad move. Bad move? Leave me alone, you prick. You start like second guessing yourself. Freaking hating massive chess. And leave me alone. You just want to play in peace. <laughs> These guys are freaking ruthless as well. Like whenever you made like a proper blunder, they'd all like kind of hit themselves in that. Ah, oh, like groan, groaning. Some old dudes as well. They weren't even that good at chess either. Honestly, that giant chessboard was one of the reasons why I want to get better at chess, just to beat these these whiny, whiny old dudes that would go there. They were there every single day. Oh, at least every single time I went to the library to get some books, um, they would be there, They're playing chess and complaining about people not being good enough at chess. Freaking uh, elitist pricks. And they really weren't that good themselves, you know? I got really close to beating one guy once. Then I blundered my queen. I was so far up. And all of them... Ridiculous. <sighs> One day I'm going to practice chess for three years straight. I go back to the giant chessboard in the Rotterdam library. going to beat them up in chess. 
not in real life, that would be mean. They would stand no chance. They were not in good physical shape. And I did practice MMA in my younger years. I, I make them tap real fast. That would be no issue. But then again, I don't condone violence. So make it up what you will. This early game uh, was boring. Nothing happened. So you missed nothing. Uh, and you did hit, learn something about the Rotterdam library. So next time you are in the Netherlands, you know, it's your, it's your wife, your girlfriend, it's your family, your boyfriend. Just whoever you are with, you're like, hey, what do you want to do? And you say, well, I heard there's a giant chessboard in the Rotterdam library. Perhaps we could visit that. I'm not even sure if it's still there, though. I haven't been there in years now. There used to be one, is what you could say. You could point at it. It was, it was next to the little shop. That I think it sold sandwiches or something. I never bought one. I'm the kind of guy that brings his own sandwich to the library, you know? He's going to eat a sandwich. Someone else's sandwich at the library it makes no sense. If you're planning on going there, just plan the sandwich as well. Homemade sandwiches are 99% of the time better than someone else's made sandwiches as well because you really know what you like and how many you like of each thing on it. People ask, hey, do you want lettuce on? Like, yeah, but I want a very specific amount of lettuce on. People always put way too little onions, uh, the red onions on my sandwich. Like, I want, the, I want a lot of red onion. And then you can say, I want more red onion, and they still don't put enough. And then once more, and they still don't put it Like, I want a lot of red onion on it. And they just don't... They don't understand. They look at you in a judging way. And then I have to pay for them to look at me in a judging way. But while I'm at home, I just cut my own red onion. Boom. Put the entire thing on. Boom. Cut a second one. Eat it raw. That's what I do. Get out of here. Melee level 1 on the way. As uh, Spire is about to finish up. And 5 minutes and 23 seconds in. We're about to actually have a good time in this game. Not for sure what these rogers are doing halfway across the map. This uh, Elaser seemed to have a plan, but that plan has been uh, well, spoiled. As <laughs> they actually just got built in a different location. Uh, the one trick scientists hate. Six Mutas are coming out right now, and with plus one links already out as well. I actually think that this is going to be a defense against the initial wave. Now, there is a Nidus network on the way behind this. So we might get a reverse of the first game over here. Woo! Yes, he later. That was beautiful. Oh my! Wait, what? When I said yes, I meant Bly. That was beautiful. He cancelled and then rebuilt it. Uh, my apologies. I'm still thinking about my my red onion that I like on my sandwich. I'm actually, fairly hungry right now. Yeah, these roads are gonna get uh, blasted back home. As there's really nothing on the map that can provide a good Nidus location at the moment. Is there? Am I crazy or... Wait, did he cancel the Nidus? No, he still has the Nidus. He has no creep in between bases. Did this got completely destroyed here. Bly... Bly holds. And with Bly holding, he now has Muras out. For the people that are not aware, the Muralisk is considered the most broken unit in all of ZVZ. Once you get Muras and specifically plus two Ling Bane... You're in a really good position as a Zerg. Because nothing really counters that. Like, you need to just sit back and, and hope you don't lose five bases. Uh, this hatch doesn't even get sniped here. We have more links coming in, so it might still end up happening. But there's already a backup base for this. Bly only has 50 workers. So he can lose a base and not really lose any mining here. Because he's going to be up to four hatches. There's a crap ton of money in the bank as well. If he were to macro somewhere in the near future, that would be good for him. Um, but so far, it does not seem to have any plans of, 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 of macroing um, these minerals away. Up, uh, do see a queen fall there. So two more drones are going to be sent in towards this general location. Not quite sure why that is. So we have plus one, of course, on the link's reply. It means that all of these uh, transactions will be good for him. Efficient transactions for sure. Oh, yeah, Muras could have joined in the fight there a little bit longer. Are not going to. The Queens will survive defensively. There's not a single upgrade yet for Elaser. That's what he's known for, skipping the Evo Chamber. And um, so far, well, that hasn't really paid off for him. He's not in a good situation. Is going to get the Tunneling Claws, which probably, um, well, hopefully will allow him to actually go across the map with some of these roaches, unspotted. Maybe try and harass a little bit. Once again... Bly uh, taking his uh, fourth base as the gas are being uh, taken on his third as well. Two queens will get blasted here. As uh, two more overlords are also going to end up falling. It's a little bit unfortunate. Don't quite think these mutas can fight into this. One muta goes down. Second muta goes down. Nice target fire out of Elaser. 
And these roaches make their way across the map. The mute account continues to grow as these links find a lot of damage over here. And Bly is looking for the equalizer and might just end up fighting it as he takes out the, the first hydras that popped out. Roaches are coming in. Is there burrow yet? Is there tunneling claws? The answer to both of these questions is no. Um, but on the other hand, there's also no links here to really catch any of these hits from the roaches. And we see 9, 10, perhaps a couple more falling. No, wait, the roach in the main also got cleaned up already. 19 mutas are out. Very good situation right now here for Bly, who still hasn't started his plus two, though. That is quite bad, because plus two is honestly what makes this so powerful. As a Zerg, defensively, you need to constantly be aware of Banelings running in. And because you have zero map control due to the Muras, um, that is quite difficult, honestly. Now we see plus one Banelings rolling in without... Well, not really rolling in, just waddling in. Without Banelings speed, five drones do get taken out. Hydra's, well, shot something here. Not entirely sure what. I think Bly's worker count is simply too low, though. He needs to go up to 75, 76 workers. That is the number that you're usually working with if you're a Ling Bane Muta player. Now, Muta's, uh, or sorry, Bly did not quite catch this move out. Does not have Overlord Speed either. Does he have any Overseer around? He does not. No, he does. But it's with his army. That's an issue. That is an issue. Uh oh, and this, yeah, this is this is a real issue. Let's have a look at this. Three roaches being sent off to the third. Three roaches into the natural. Four roaches into the natural, and four into the main. And that, my dear friends, is a problem. Painlings do not quite connect with any of these workers, and these roaches are going to connect with some of these workers. Overseers not available yet. Seven drones have fallen already. The Mutas are diving in, looking for some damage. Are not quite getting it. Oh, Bly, hello. Can we control? Okay, there we go. Hydras do go down. Queen count is low, but Bly's drone count is also getting very, very low right now. Hasn't killed these roaches yet. Hasn't even killed a single one yet, I think. There's still four over here. There's still four in the main. And the three, well, one died at the, at the third base. Uh, there's still a complete fresh base here for these two roaches to, to join in on and see if they can have some fun. And fun they definitely are having here. Knight is now being utilized for the first time in this game after having bu been built a long time ago. And Elazer makes his way across the map. Oh, yo, 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 yo. Knight is towards the main base as well. I cannot believe what is happening here. Elazer with a, a magnificent comeback as Bly just, just failing really a little bit at that multitasking a little bit slow to understand that tunneling claws might have been a possibility did not have any overseers ready no overlord speed no nothing and is going to get blasted here will perhaps manage to defend temporarily but it's down so far in workers at this point um, I mean, he's hardly mining he's, he's mining from four mineral patches in his main base with 24 workers total that's not very efficient and it's also not enough workers I mean, it's not working for these mineral patches, but it's going to need more if he wants to truly do something useful here. Army supplies are kind of close, but it doesn't matter. Because Bly can never move across the map right now. More and more roaches are being sent in. I think this third base will die as well. The Muta count is only on 14. More queens in production. I mean, the income pretty much tells the tale here. This base indeed is going to get taken out. We can see a split on these roaches. Or just running them away and then going in towards the natural might also just be good enough, right? Yep, there we go. More drones will end up falling, and yeah, it's he's toast. He's toast. Bly is staying in once again, just like in game number one. Uh, that is uh, somewhat yeah, annoying, but it, it is the way it is. I'm gonna start uh, considering what I'm gonna put on my sandwich after this already. I do know that I have two red onions laying around. Gonna cut both of these bad boys up. We want hell of a sandwich. I can tell you. Yeah, I mean, these mutas are just chasing around. This is, this is completely useless. I'm not quite sure why we're watching this. Perhaps wants to go for a paling run by, which is kind of understandable. Never finishes plus two, though, so... I, I mean, he'll need to kill 40 workers with these four banelings, which is theoretically possible, but fairly unlikely. There we go. That's one. I just killed 15! That's, that's serious damage. That is really... That is very serious damage. That's like four links and two bane links. I mean, that is that is kind of sick. 
Two more bailings are coming in. 22 workers total. That's not bad at all. I appreciate the grit here that Bly is showing, but... I mean, if he had 20 workers at this point, I still would be dead, but... It would have looked closer. Roaches are being sniped one by one. Ah, impressive try. Impressive try here on Bly. But this is... I mean, it is... It, it is over now, my friends. This is the end for you, my friend. Na, 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 na. New Nidus Network, what's in there? Ooh, a couple of Hydras, a couple of Queens. Oh, it's in the Natural as well. Yeah, I mean, this is still completely over. Bailing Nest is gonna go down, Broodlings pop out. How many Broodlings actually do pop out? Is it six? Does that differ per building? I actually have no clue. I feel like it's seven or eight out of a hatchery. Six out of other structures. Or is it just the same amount of broodlings everywhere? I actually have no clue. I feel like an evil chamber should provide less broodlings. It's just a cramped building. That's definitely six, right? Yeah, six out of the spire. I hope Bly stays in long enough for me to see the lair die or one of these hatcheries. I don't know how many come out. No, he won't. GG gets caught. Um... Yeah, your laser wins this series with a 3-1 uh, a to one score. Pretty exciting series, interesting games, and some dead time as well. So, uh, beautiful stuff.